Uh, my name is Masahiko Asada, uh, Professor of International Law at Doshisha University, Kyoto, Japan, and Professor Emeritus of Kyoto University. Uh, my lectures at Hague Academy were entitled Treaties on Nuclear Non-Proliferation, Recent Developments. Uh, the focus of my uh, course was placed on the nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament. Uh, in terms of treaties, it covered Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, NPT, Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, CTBT, Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, TPNW, and various Nuclear Free Zone Treaties, as well as IAEA Safeguards Agreements and their additional protocols. As for the cases examined, uh, my course discussed North Korean and Iranian nuclear issues and sanctions against those states, on which I have some experience uh, in the Security Council. The examination was conducted by analyzing the selected treaties and cases, including through the application of general international law rules, such as the law of treaties, the law of state responsibility, and the law of international organizations. In order to differentiate my course from theirs, I tried to provide a more focused and more uh, practice-oriented analysis of the nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament regime, rather than offering a general account of the regime as a whole. A part of my course is extremely relevant today. Uh, since the Russian invasion of uh, Ukraine began in February this year, President Putin has repeatedly hinted at the possibility of using nuclear weapons. In my course, I talked about the commitments made by five nuclear weapon states against the use of nuclear weapons, uh, which is called negative security assurances. I specifically discussed the Budapest Memorandum of 1994. The memorandum signed by the US, UK, uh, Russia, and Ukraine was sin quo non for Ukraine to abandon nuclear weapons it inherited from the former Soviet Union. The document contains not only a pledge by three nuclear weapon states not to use nuclear weapons against Ukraine, but also not to use force against, against Ukraine and, to put, uh, and respect its independence and sovereignty and existing, existing borders. Therefore, Russia uh, breached those commitments already in 2014 in Crimea, long before the present invasion. An interesting question to be asked is whether the Budapest Memorandum is a treaty or not. There are affirmative opinions primarily relying on the fact that the document was registered with the United Nations by Ukraine in 2014. But I have a different opinion. As the United Nations Secretariat itself declares, registration of an instrument by a UN member state does not imply a judgment by the Secretariat on the legal nature of the instrument. As ICJ repeatedly pronounced, the legal nature of an instrument should be examined in light of the actual terms used and the particular circumstances in which it, is, it was drawn up. In fact, the terms used in the Budapest Memorandum tend to show that it is not a treaty. In fact, the terms was not shall, but will, as in the case of OPCW or OSCE documents, which are all non-legal. So what uh, Russia did was not illegal in light of the Budapest Memorandum, but it is certainly an illegal act violating UN Charter and other international law.